gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thank you very much for making some time to watch today's video. It's much appreciated. And today we're going to talk about a topic that does not get discussed as much as it probably should and that's why uh, so many anglers, bass anglers in particular, uh, go through divorces, why there's a higher divorce rate amongst fishermen. I think it's a topic well worth discussing. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and opinion on it and I'd I'd like to hear you guys back too. I'd be curious to hear you guys' opinion. Um, real quick, before we get started here, guys, just wanted to give you guys a daily reminder. <clears throat> if you haven't had a chance, please check out our View Product Shopping Chat tab. When you click on the video, you'll see a thing that says View Products at the bottom. Um, it's 30 products I think you guys might be interested in. And it's a really good way to just help the channel out. If you want to help the channel, you have to click on that product and click on the, the link that it takes you to where you can buy it at. Check it out. And that's a good way to support the channel here. Much appreciated. Okay guys, let's talk a little bit about this. Um, th this is something that, like I said, needs to be discussed more because um, I feel like that I've sort of earned the right to talk about this. I've been in the trenches for over 35 years. Um, I've seen it over and over again. I've seen this uh, unfold, what I'm gonna talk about a little bit, you know, throughout decades of bass fishing. And that is, first of all, right off the bat, um, fishing and particularly competitive fishing, when you start to get into the elite level of fishing, it's a very selfish sport. And like I said, I've earned the right to say it's a selfish sport because I've been part of that too. I've, I've, I've gotten sucked into that at one point in my career where um, you, you get so tunnel vision on achieving success and doing well in tournaments, or not just in tournaments. I, I see dudes that are just crappie fishermen in the same way that um, everything else falls by, by, by the wayside. Friends and family, um, everything else takes a backseat to fishing. And this is why um, their divorce rates are so high in bass fishing in particular. Here's the thing about bass fishing. Um, when you're talking about the top level tier of fishermen, and I, it, it can be, I don't care if it's the top level tier in your bass club or if you fish a, a, a buddy circuit or whatever, It's it's, pursuing that level of excellence and wanting to get better in the sport it comes with a cost because you simply cannot um, reach that level if you're not laser focused on being the best that you can and when you become laser focused like that you can't your your energy cannot be delegated in the sufficient amount to your friends and family it just doesn't work like that now there are some rare cases. I know some some fishermen out there that have been, their situations are unique in the fact that they like travel with their families and they have their families with them. So they don't have that stress that a lot of people do. Um, and then there's some that seemingly on the outside, you know, some some of their spouses support their, their you know, their spouse's desire to fish more. But I think a lot of that, I think there's a lot of hidden animosity that goes with that amongst the people that say that, yeah, we, you know, I want to give you your freedom to fish as much as you want to. But there's there's probably some deep seated resentment that comes along with that, too. Now, and every situation is different. I'm not trying to make this sound like every case is the same, but nevertheless, it happens. So um, here's the here's the deal behind it. It's like one of the things one of the decisions that you have to make when you decide to become a, an, an angler, a bass angler or whatever, so specifically if you decide that you want to have a career in fishing as far as a tournament angler, you have to realize and you have to make this determination, are you willing to put your friends and your family and your spouse on the back burner to pursue that? And do you realize the cost of that? Do you realize the potential outcome that can come about that. And that is why the divorce rates among bass anglers is so high, simply because of that. It's simply because so many guys out there, they leave their spouses at home, they leave their families at home, they're, folk, they're fishing every weekend. If they're not fishing every weekend, they're hunting every weekend when hunting season comes along. <clears throat> and eventually, people just get tired of that. And they don't. that's not a life that they want to lead. And that's why you see so many divorces out there. So the question is, what can you do, you know, to get around that? There's a couple of different scenarios. First of all, just being aware of that fact is a big deal. And if you're aware of that fact, you can make changes. You can have a conversation with your spouse or your family and you can let them know, say, hey, I do not want 
my fishing to get in the way of, you know, our relationship here. It's like, well, let's figure out what works for both, for both people out there. That's one way to do it, which is probably the most difficult way because there's a lot, I've never seen that really work out very well, simply because there's, there's, there's so many differing levels of desire behind fishing. And eventually what happens if you have a strong enough passion and desire to pursue and to try to get better, you put all that other stuff on the back burner. And a lot of times you do it even subconsciously, you don't even know that you're doing it. So that's the hardest way. Uh, the next way, the easiest way to do it guys is to, if, if you're wanting to get in it and you're not in a relationship and you don't have a family, stay single. That is really the most responsible way to do it because you don't put another person in the position to have them, you know, get dragged down by your passion for fishing. I, one of the things I always tell people that want to fish for a living, it's like the first thing that you need to do is just stay single. Don't, don't get tied down to that because if you want to be the best that you can be, it's going to be very difficult. You're going to have, you're going to fall into that 1% of anglers that make it work where 99% of them don't make it work. So stay single behind that. And also if you just, if you have a family, um, I think there comes a point where you simply have to, you have to choose your family over fishing. I mean, that's, that's one of the things that like in my own fishing that I've done, I, I have no desire like to spend a lot of time away from my family traveling to tournaments. I don't, it's not worth it. it is, fishing is not, it's not as important as my family. And I, that's the way it should be because, you know, when you're, when you're on your 90 some years old and you're on your deathbed, you're not going to say, man, I wish I had to fish more and spent less time with my family. That's not what you're going to say out there. So I think a lot of it is putting, putting your priorities in perspective with that. And don't, don't put other people in a position to have to suffer through your ambition. That's, that's one of the big things out there. And, uh, it, like I said, this need, this, this ought to be like when, when you, when somebody wants to start bass fishing, this ought to be a prerequisite prerequisite. You should know this. It's like, okay, if you want to bass fish and you want to achieve excellence in the sport that you're doing, you have to realize this is a selfish sport. Bass fishing is selfish. Tournament fishing is selfish on a, another even level, even a higher level. Again, guys, I have earned the right to say this. I've done it for 35 years. I'm not talking about some armchair angler. I've earned the right to make that statement. And that's, that, that's a decision everybody has, one has to make. But the decision that, that the advice that I would give you guys here is don't put your family on a back burner, man. It's just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to become a better bass fisherman at the expense of costing your family. It's, it's just not. And uh, I see that all too frequently. There's there's not only a lot of bass anglers that get divorced, but there's a lot of bass anglers out there that probably should be divorced that are making their families miserable through pursuing the sport of fishing. And um, I don't, I, I'm not trying to per dissuade anyone from, from bass fishing, but I'm, what I'm saying is you have to realize there's other people involved in the decisions that you make. And, you know, speaking directly to those people out there, I would highly recommend staying single or, you know, figuring some way to take your family with you and working it out where, you know, you spend more time with your friends and family than you do out on the water or up in a deer stand. That's just the, just, that's just some advice from Uncle Randy here that I'm telling you guys will serve you well if you listen to that. So Anyway, guys, shoot me some comments. I'd, I'd be really interested to see what you guys think about that. And thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated, guys. And we'll talk later. See you.